Hi guys, and happy Wednesday. So it's the second week of February. We're about six weeks into the year, and so many of you have been talking to me about your 2022 goals. Friends, colleagues, family members, clients, so many people in my life are telling me what they want 2022 to look like. People have health and fitness goals. They have relationship goals. They've got career and professional goals. They've got goals around their hobbies or sports they play. Maybe there's community service or involvement goals, extra particular clubs and activities, whatever your goals are, write them down. Goals that are locked away in your head and not on paper or in an Excel spreadsheet or on a Word document or emailed to somebody are merely just wishes. In a Forbes study back in 2018, uh, there was the estimate that we are 20 to 40% more likely to accomplish a goal that's written down versus one that's not. And study after study has talked about how much more likely we are to remember and retain and internalize information when we write it down. So if you're serious about achieving your goals and committing to the things that are in your mind, get them on paper, get them on a vision board, get them somewhere where you can visually see them every single day and then get to work. I think too often we're afraid to write down our goals because we know that once we write something down, we've really committed to it and we're gonna be held accountable to it. And that's, that's true. It does help hold you accountable to it since there's a written record of what you said you wanted to do. But that's a good thing. If you want to achieve your goals, you want to change your life, you want things to look different, putting your goals on paper can help you. So get to work, get those goals written down, get them in a place you can see them. Guarantee you, you will be that much more closer to achieving those New Year's resolutions and those life changes that you're wanting to make in 2022. With that, have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you next week.